So I'm a little upset right now. Um, so my recording software crashed. Um, about 30 minutes into this last recording. Um, so remember how we were going to fly to this, um, truck depot, get some info on it, and then, uh, go from there? Well, what happened is the game crashed a couple missions after that. So, let me explain to where we're at, where we're at before we start up. And um, it might be easier to go with the map here. because I'm currently chasing someone here. So, here we are. Okay. So, last time we were over um, here, I think? One of these two areas. Anyway, so we um, snuck in, took some pictures of some documents, and then we had to destroy a truck convoy that was, like, right down here. So we did that. That was fine. It was... Nothing spectacular. The stealth, though, oh my god, you guys. It took me six tries to try and get in there, and I didn't record the first six. Like, I cut that out. Um, I stopped recording and started recording on the seventh attempt. Seventh attempt, I went in, no, no guns drawn, just snuck the fuck in, and it was beautiful. Got it, got out, flawless. So, whatever. We're back over here, got in the plane, which apparently you don't even need that plane, because it got destroyed as soon as I got in it. Um, took another plane, and flew my happy ass over here somewhere, and interrogated the buyer. He told me about uh, some bank account, and in that bank account we traced to some guys who were using it, because it, it's Boston Reed's bank account, so he's paying them through uh, that bank account, and so we're doing this, so we're trekking down um, Reed's top henchman, Carlos and Hernando, who are brothers. Carlos is dumb, so we're following him to his brother, so we can capture Hernando and interrogate him. And that's where we're at right now. We're just gonna kind of, um, following him, and very funny, uh, one of the guys said, uh, that's Carlos? My 12 year old daughter could beat him up. I, I didn't ID him myself, I just kind of did that uh, spotting thing with the rebel, so I don't know what it looks like. I'm assuming it looks weak as fuck. So, anyway, we're gonna start it back up. Unfortunately, I can't recover that footage. I, um, whenever I try to open it, it's just like you don't have the right codex, everything's fucked up, it's corrupted. So, totally lost that. But, um, we're gonna start from here and hopefully not have a crash again. <laughs> Let's rock. Oh no. Oh no, guys, my HUD's off. Fuck my life. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to stop the recording and restart it here quick. Alright, we're back. But that was kind of a little odd thing. Kind of like a little hiccup, like some lag just happened, but... So, oddly enough, the button to uh, stop recording also toggles the HUD for me. So uh, when I stopped the previous recording, I forgot to re-enable the HUD again. And, uh, well... I just had to do that again here, so... Fuck my life. Anyway... I really wish that truck would get out of Carlos's way. So that we could, uh... Go at decent speed. Or I wish I could just, like, set a cruising speed. That'd be nice, like, 20 miles an hour. And just have it go forward by itself. Without having me to hold W. Because I just have to, like, tap it and tap it and tap it and tap it. Even Carlos is like, this fucking truck. He's like speeding up, stopping, speeding up, stopping. I love this map, guys. It's so beautiful. Okay, here we go. That Hernando? Gotta be. These no-loads are the fucking Undertakers? The ones all the locals are so scared of? What now? Wait. Engaging hostiles. That kid is like a pussy. There, Carlos is dead. Don't have to worry about him no more. Bitch. Trying to figure out, uh, what I'm interrogating him here or taking him to a safer location. 
Uh, go in this room. <laughs> yeah, don't know what you want. I'll give you a swirly, buddy. What is this? Who the fuck are you? Where's Reed? Who? I got no idea who that is. Don't bullshit me, Hernando. You either tell me where I can find Reed, or I make sure El Sueño knows all about your little human trafficking ring. I don't know where Reed is. Fucker never shows his face unless he's got a shipment to make, or there's some kind of emergency. I think this qualifies as an emergency, don't you? There's a special code. I enter it into a laptop at the airstrip. Reed gets the signal and comes to the airfield. That's it. Give me the code, then tell me where I can find this airfield. Bowman, we got the Guerrero brothers. Think you're in any trouble? What do you think? So what you got? The code that'll summon Reed in the airfield not too far away. Come on, buddy. He turns out, get up. We'll be waiting. Outstanding. Go get him, hotshot. All right. We've got a location and the code we need to draw Reed out of hiding. Let's set a trap. Let's go nab that folk. Damn it, guys. They keep getting fucking hurt. Come on. Get up. Get up, Holt. You're Holt, right? Yeah, you're Holt. Get up, Holt. Come on. We got someone to beat the shit out of. Say the word. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I just can't emphasize enough how much I love this map. It's just beautiful. Look at it. Look at the beautiful, gleamingly bright white. Ah, oh, God! Why would I do that? Because I'm an asshole, that's why. Inside of this car is covered in like bacteria or something. Holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Incidentally, there's like sandstorms that come through here. It's fucking cool. I, I came in one after I uh, came back here. After flying over to other fucking province. Yeah. But yeah, like. This place is pretty cool. I like it. It's kind of weird. Like, are those man made island things over there? Or are they like. Supposed to be like that. Was this once actually a lake? How does it work? I don't know. crazy. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. I should have picked a faster car. I mean, we're getting there, but slowly but surely, you know. I'm gonna ram this fucking front end up his ass. Coming up on the airstrip now. Whoa! That was a fucking sick jump. And kill him. Fire, fire, fire. Alright. Hello, Rebels! Welcome to the party. Let me just grab these supplies here real quick. We'll leave a marker so the Rebels can pick up these. I'm entering the codes now. Reed should be receiving the signal to land. He'll show up any second. Set up for the ambush. I think we're ready. Helicopter? Opening fire. I fucking shot you guys first. Where's he at? I don't see nobody. Find the pillar of smoke? Yeah? Is that him?
Helicopter incoming. I'm sure that counts as a kill, doesn't it? Tango down. Let's notify Bowman. Bowman. Boston Reed is no longer on the playing board. Warhawk sniper rifle. It's been a big problem here for a long while. Of course, someone in Santa Blanc is gonna bloody his paw with it. I feel like an asshole. You stopped Boston Reed and freed a few innocent folks. It's a good day. Better than others, anyway. Bowman out. <sighs> what a beautiful day to save the day. Nidia finally had the answer to her problems. A convoy. The investors in Mexico wanted their money. This whole time she had been trying to sneak it out to them. Why sneak when we can force it through? Reinforced armor, heavily armed, multiple trucks, helicopter patrols, carrying 17 billion dollars. Mira, you can be serious. If we lose that money, it's over. But when we're killed, what happens to Valeria? There is no other way. No, Reina, we're not doing it! Ay, boquita, corazón. I'm not asking. I'm telling. And who do you expect to lead this convoy? You're the only man I trust with something this important. But what if I don't make it back? I would never let that happen. Oh, he's not gonna make it back. He's not. Now then. Here we go. Interesting that we had to take down all of smuggling before we could even reach any of them, right? Normally we just take out a few and then it's like, oh, by the way, here you go. All right, Bowman. This is Bowman. I just got word from an informant that El Bukito's planning something big in Kiwani. What do we know? Lydia and El Mexico. They're putting together a convoy for a big shipment headed north. This is a Hail Mary. If they can't make this happen, else when you're not going to You got a location on this convoy? My informant didn't say. Get it with him and find out what he knows. I'm sending you coordinates for a meet. Roger that. We're on it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. We've got intel. Oh, sweet. It's not that far away. Trucks loaded with cash heading cartel bosses in Mexico. El Boquita is believed to be leading the convoy. Outstanding work in Kiwani. Eliminating Reed has disrupted the entire smuggling network. Grounding their planes has cut Santa Blanca's output in the province by two-thirds. What about the overland routes? The data you got from the truck depot is allowing us to map the entire operation from beginning to end. Once we're sure of everything, we'll notify law enforcement across the border and coordinate a series of raids. It'll be too disaster. Locals, too. Santa Blanca is more the hell of a lot of people to operate those trucks. That's above my pay grade. You want to put people to work? Try the Peace Corps. I'll keep that in mind. No mad out. If I spawn a fucking truck, we're gonna put it far away, right? I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. Yep. Fucking course. Let's we'll go up here then. <laughs> Looks like more Sicarios want to get some. Let them get some. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Come on, keep moving. Eyes up, we got hostiles in the Grab area. that jeep. Buckle up, people. Uh, well, shit. I'm 4x4. Four four. Just got fucking nosedived. Alright, we're almost there. Do -do 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 -do. Jesus Christ, this is some hilly terrain. I thought the slope flats were best, man. If only everything could just be flat and white and allow me to just glide over them without having to fucking look at where I'm going. 
It would be so great. There's the informant. Let's hear what he's got to say. What's up, nerd? Bowman says you've got something for me. It's gonna cost double this time. Take it up with her. Tell me what you got, and I'll put in a good word for you. Okay, it's like this. El Boquita's jammed up, and he's got to get a shitload of money up to the bosses in Mexico. So he's running a big convoy up there tonight. How big? A couple of armored trucks for the cash, maybe half a dozen armored cars, maybe even a couple of helicopters. Serious shit. Where's the convoy? I don't know. El Boquita's being cautious as fuck. Only he and the drivers know the route. That's not good enough. I need a location. How about this? I know where you can find El Boquita. He's here in Kiwani to make sure the convoy gets through. You follow him, he'll take you straight to the money. Excellent. But. If we're dealing with a bunch of armored cars, I think we're going to need an APC. And I know just where to find one. Yeehoo! If it loads, of course. I mean, that's always a very important thing. You, know, you need the game to load before you can actually do anything. <clears throat> Let's quickly grab this truck and go grab one of the NPCs, which should be around that area. Let's go. Ah, it's a beautiful. Beautiful dive! And those turns about Better that trash chica, I'm sure he looks gorgeous. And over in Cayuba, Manuel is turning 57. Guess he's one of our older listeners, eh? Well, feliz cumpleaños! I want all of you birthday raza out there to drink a cold one for your DJ Perico. Because he's gonna drink a cold one for you. Open fire. One more year, Bob Brown, is always worth it. That LT is getting away. No, you get the fuck away from that truck. Okay. And now we drive down here. Alright. Let's do it to it. Pick up that chopper, will ya? Or don't. I'm not your father. Oh, without being detected, you bastards. There we go. Kill the lights. Let's go to night vision mode. Mm. Yeah. Fucking love this vehicle. Okay, I'm happy to detect it, huh? It's easy enough. Coming up on the target area. Elbow Keats is expecting trouble, so let's take this low and slow. Okay. Give me just one moment here. Let's see if I have my range with the drone here. Drone is airborne. So if I can just mark him from this far out, that'd be great. I asked the rep Bowman, we've got eyes on El Boquita. We'll tail him to the money. Roger that. We've got a tap on his cell phone. If he makes a call, says anything about the money or the convoy's route, you'll be able to listen in. He's going that way. Perfect. I wasn't sure if he was coming towards me or away from me. I'm almost there. Please don't. As long as they get their money, the investors will be happy. They won't care how the cash gets to them. Hey, that doesn't mean this isn't crazy. There must be a better way. There is no other way. We don't have time for any other way. 
You know you're the only man who can pull this off. I, I know you're just buttering me up, but I like it. Igual, te amo. Let me speak con mi niña. Papi, are you coming home? Pronto, chaparita. I have to take a trip. You be good girl and listen to your mama. Can I have a puppy? I, I want a small, brown, cute one, or maybe yellow. Nena, you can have anything you want when I get home. Papa loves you very much. Okay, bye. Adios, mija. Aw, it's a shame we're gonna have to kill him. That little girl's gonna grow up an orphan. Oh fuck, here's the convoy. I was expecting a lot more vehicles than that. Bowman, you found the convoy. I count at least three heavy vehicles, one helo. We need to keep those money trucks from reaching Mexico. Just as important, we need to take out El Boquita. Killing him will destroy Sueño and Nidia's relationship. Roger that. Ready? Open fire. Roger. Oh god, sorry, Elbokita. Say again, Elbokita is dead. Take out that fucking convoy then, huh? Oh, they're hauling now. <laughs> Get wrecked. Money truck and elbow pizza is KIA. Outstanding. The beauty queen is royally fucked. We'll see if she makes a run for it or tries to make a swing of forgiveness. Either way, she's gonna expose herself. And when she does, we go get her. Video time! The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Nidia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, babe. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. Well, shit. What do we got for skill points? <laughs> Aircraft shield? Eh. Ooh, we got a range increase for the drone. Perfect. Alright, where's the next area of operation, huh? Close by, or do we have to go far, far away? Waiting for that booty queen. operation is such a clusterfuck that she's a dead girl walking. Sueño sent a hit team to kill Nidia and her daughter Valeria. We got a location on the beauty queen? She's holed up at her hacienda with her daughter. We got this chick right where we want her. Get her and Valeria out of danger. She'll give us everything she knows. We're on our way. No mad out. Alright, where's it at? There. Caused so much damage to Nidia Flores' network that El Sueño decided he's better off without her. Extract Flores and her daughter. Mm. Ah, beautiful. Damn! Look at that. Barvechos Platamai. I guess Santa Blanca owns this too now. They've got their hands in every Bolivian industry. The billion dollar question is who's buying from them? Oil from drug cartels and terror groups, minerals, they all get into the market somehow. Gracias, amigos. That money we took from the cartels. Excuse me. Alright. Let's rock. Who the fuck put a wall there? Little fucks. 
Haven't I breached into this place once before? I feel like I did. Like, I almost specifically remember going into this area. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, sure, don't fire at him, whatever, I don't fucking care. Tell you to fire and you just fucking sit there, guys. What the hell are you doing? Fuck it. God damn it. Come on, come on, really? Wow. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. This is a good spot, right, though? Yeah, okay. Take it a shot. Probably switch to my automatic, huh? Let me do this real quick. Chopper. Damn. Totally did something here. I don't remember what it is, though. The chopper's my out. Damn, I can't break through the glass, really. Where the fuck's the entrance to this thing at? Here it is. You done packing? Come on, child, let's go. We don't want to hurt you or your daughter. We want Sueño. You help us, we can protect you. Hold it there. Like I'm gonna trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know Sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up to Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. Okay. Man, I'm so good at piloting this now. You people are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabron who turned out when you against me in the first place. Our life was good. Let's get back to business. You don't like El Jefe. I, I don't like him either. Mija, stop talking. Close your mouth. You don't like El Jefe because he tried to hurt you and your mama? No, I don't like him because he has no hair. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having hair. Maybe he can't help it. Stop talking to her. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Carreña. Whatever happened? I don't like him because he doesn't have any hair. <laughs> what a precious child. Well, that's luck. Alright, let's go. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long yeah. ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. <laughs> Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño, that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. 
I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. You and I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me Sueño? I will give you eternal life. Magic. Beautiful. 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 Here we go. My trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained lay there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything. And she paid me back by running like a coward. Instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces. And that was the good word of El Sueño. Alright, what do we got now? Aircraft shield again. Drone, we got cooldown, I guess. It's fine. EMP as well, sweet. Oh, I can get that one too. Swag. Perfect. That's that, ladies and gentlemen. That is that. Bowman! You got any words of wisdom for us? Are we just gonna be sitting out here in the rain waiting for me to make the next move? Anything, Bowman? Here we go. You four are causing me more trouble than I've ever had in Bolivia. The pleasure's all ours, Sueño. But if you like, we can end this right now. Just turn yourself in. All this trouble for Ricky Sandoval. A cabron who was little more than a corrupt policeman. You have no idea what is really going on. I can give you the truth about Sandoval. Enough bullshit. I have evidence, an audio recording of Ricky Sandoval confessing his greatest sin. Then you will see that your whole mission, your entire reason for being here, is based on a lie. Are you really this desperate to save your own ass? More lies? I am many things, but a liar is not one of them. Listen to the audio recording yourself. There will be no tricks, but I doubt you will have much reason to come after me once you hear what Sandoval has to say. Interesting. So, El Sueño's offering to give us Agent Sandoval's recorded confession. It's probably a trap, but we can't afford not to check it out. Hmm. Also, this area has never been used. I have never been here. There's literally nothing here. Also, it looks kind of shitty because there's probably like a lot of mountains. It looks real dumb. I hate it. Look at this fucking zigzaggy road. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm glad nothing was down here. Fuck that. Anyway, so. We have the final mission of El Sueño to take him down. We have the one up here with El Sueño trying to uh, lure us into a trap. So what we'll do, nope, too far. We'll do this one, then this one, and then this one. In that order. But we'll do that next time because that's gonna be the finale. The end if you will. More or less. There might be some stuff after that. Still waiting for Bowman to betray us. Still waiting on that. But, uh, yeah. We will go ahead and end things here. And I will 
fast travel over here and get in position for that one. So until next time, y'all, bye-bye.